guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm Jamie V. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you a trash bin full of things that I have decluttered or I'm getting rid of their makeup, beauty products, hair care, body stuff, all that good stuff. So before we get into the video, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be instantly notified when I upload and become part of the hive. We have so much fun on this channel, guys. You don't want to miss out. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, all right, all right. Couple of things before we start. One, my nails are not done. Well, they're done, they're just not painted. Um, they started to chip last night and so I filed the gel polish off. So I'm gonna go and get them done, but um, try to ignore the hideousness of them. Two, my hair looks like crap. I don't need you to tell me that, I'm aware. So I have decided that when I do these chit chats, declutters, Get, like just talking laid back kind of vibes it is gonna be here on my bed but someone did say that the blinds were kind of distracting so I took that into consideration and I just shifted what side of the bed I'm sitting on so instead of sitting on it the long side facing the blinds I am now sitting on it lengthwise so I hope that it's better and I'm sorry if the blinds were that distracting. Um, I just gonna, I wanna kind of have like a laid back kind of vibe with you guys. Now that we got that all the way guys, let's get into the actual video. All right, so I do have a trash bin. This is literally my trash can that sits under my computer desk. Full of makeup items, hair care, body care, skin care, makeup, if I didn't say that, stuff that I have actually just been decluttering. Um, I wanna do a makeup tour eventually, but I'm still getting things together. I really want it to be perfect for you guys, so just please hold in there for me. But this is kind of just stuff that I've decluttered as I've gone through and organized and put my whole new system and organization up. I was going to do a declutter video, but because I didn't just do like decluttering my eyeshadows or decluttering my highlighters, um, I just kind of did like went through and I have more stuff that I have to declutter So if you guys like those little individual ones like declutter decluttering palettes or decluttering Lipsticks and go ahead and comment below and I can make them but I just kind of wanted to be like this is stuff I'm getting rid of right now and why so Let's dig in this basket is freaking heavy. All right So the first thing that I grabbed in here is the Patrick star and Mac. I think this was his I want to say the winter collab it's the second one so it's a, the quad and it is the Patrick Star Glam AF eyeshadow quad and the reason that I am getting rid of this is it's very beautiful and you can do an easy look with it but to me it was just kind of what's the word this is boring it just was mediocre so I am going to either be giving this to my daughters or giving it away and then the other thing I have in here I actually have a couple of these let me pull all these out save time on the video so the other things I actually have that I'm giving away are the old Kylie blushes and highlighters. Um, I have uh, several of these and several of these, but because she came out with new formula, new packaging, I'm actually going to be getting rid of all of these. Um, they were okay, they were not terrible. I'll go ahead and swatch. This one is French vanilla. It was my favorite one. This is a cardboard container, where now they are a hard plastic container. And they were not terrible, they're just, they were okay. But the new formula is freaking amazing. I'm so obsessed. All right, and then the blushes were, they were not good. Like, see how I'm digging? And this is like a red blush. And it just is subpar. The formula was really not good at all. Look at that, and that's a red blush. She has changed the formula like significantly to where like they are so bomb. So freaking bomb, and I'm obsessed. So the next thing I have in here is the Aurora palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, ABH. This is the Aurora Glow Kit. Um, honestly, I think, <sighs> oof, I think I just got this because it was on sale. And I was like, oh, I have to have it because I have basically all of this company's stuff because I do really stand by their products. They have amazing, amazing products. But honestly, this one, it's just not for me. Um, they're very pretty. They're stunning. 
Like they, there is no, these are amazing. You know, there's no negative to it except for there is, they're kind of messy. Whereas like they kind of flake and get glitter powder everywhere. But look at that stunning. Like they're absolutely stunning. I just don't really go for them as much. So they're going to go. I just don't, I guess, reach for these colors as much. So they are going to go. Bye bye. And then this is actually my last Too Faced tin palette. I had all of them, the chocolate ones, the golden, whatever. I don't know. It had like half gold, half chocolate on it. Um, the Too Faced peach palette. I actually, sweet peach palette. I actually got this on the first launch when they only launched a certain amount and then they had to redo it. Um, I think it was at like Christmas time or something. It was a whole debacle about why it, like, I don't know, but not the point. Point is, I'm trying to hide the mirror. Um, it's a beautiful palette. I just don't really reach for it a lot. A lot. My um, daughters really like it, so I'll be giving it to them because they do go into this one quite a bit. Um, but the rest of them are gone. This is my last one. And I'm just really not the biggest Too Faced fan at the moment, so gonna go so staying on the whole Too Faced bandwagon here this is a Christmas collection it came in a chateau I believe in a Paris chateau Christmas collection it has some blushes a highlighter a bronzer and then eyeshadows it's very cute um, I really wanted it and my husband got it for me for Christmas but quite honestly my daughter uses this more than I do like it's disgusting because they're just like, they just dig into it, it's gross. But I'm pretty sure I all of swatched this palette before they started playing with it, so for me, it's just gonna go. The next one is gonna be the Urban Decay Vice palette, and this one is the, I wanna say XX something, X, no, this isn't the XXL. I don't remember which one this one is. If you know what it is down below, go ahead and leave me a comment. At one point, I had all of these. Like, I went out of my way and bought, like, all the super old ones and because I had to have them. Like, I had, I, this was the first one I had bought, and then I was like, I need all the old ones. So I had all of the Vice palettes, and then I slowly started to realize I don't really care for Urban Decay's eyeshadows, so I stopped really using them. One of them got ruined because I left it in my car for, like, months. I forgot it was in there under the seat. And like from the weather and everything, it just got yucky. Um, and then the other ones I gave to my siblings, my sisters and my friends. And this one I am going to give to my sister, I mean my daughters, because I just, I don't really use it. The green in here, Grasshopper, was like the only reason I bought it, but I just don't use it enough. I do love that it's like really heavy duty and good for travel and you get a lot of colors and it has a really big mirror, but not the fan of it. So this is the Make Believe in Yourself Tarte palette. Um, honestly, my daughters love this one. They do use it a lot. All these like really festivally pretty ones my daughters dig into, which is fine because I would rather them dig in the ones I don't really care for versus my Huda palette that my daughter had ruined and I had to rebuy. <laughs> so this one is very, very pretty. To be honest though, it's all shimmers and one matte. Like it just wasn't for me. The colors are very pretty. The highlighter in the middle is very pretty, but it's just, I don't, honestly, I hate that it's circle. Is that weird? I'm so weird about, look at that shadow. Like that's so freaking pretty. But I just, I hate that it's a circle palette. Not a fan, moving on. All right, so. The next things I have, these are not makeup related. Um, they're actually body sprays. So this one is pink, cool and bright body mist from Victoria's Secret. And then I have a Fiji pineapple palm from Bath and Body Works. And then in that same like line, I got the blue surf or ba Bali surf. Mm. Bali Blue Surf and also from Bath and Body Works. The reason I don't like these is because as I've gotten older and I've started to collect more like beauty items or perfume and whatnot, I've learned that these don't really last very long because they're body mist and not perfumes. Like there's a large difference in the length of like the smell and how strong they stay and all of that good stuff. So I've just kind of, these are the last body mists I have and I'm gonna say goodbye to them. The first one is going to be the Dr. Brandt Vacuum Cleaner Pure, Pore Purifying Mask. 
and this is what it looks like. I think I got this in a boxy charm, and honestly, I just don't use it. Like, it, I think I've had it for a little bit. Yeah, it has those little beads in it. It was really weird. I didn't like how it made my skin feel, so I'm going to get rid of it. And then I have the e.l.f. Brighten Up Peel Pads. I got this from like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx haul, and it does come with like a lid and little pads, but when I used them, I used them twice, and it like shredded my skin. It left my skin peeling like a freaking lizard, so gonna have to pass on those. This is another one from BoxyCharm. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is an $89 cream that I think is disgusting. Um, the price is also disgusting, but it just has too much of a fragrance smell, and I don't like to put like really fragranced stuff on my skin because I am very sensitive, but I will be giving this away because like I said, it was $89 and I don't want to just throw it out. The next thing is the Sephora Intensive Instant Moisture Plus Cream Hyaluronic Acid Booster. Um, I really enjoyed this actually. I'm not going to lie to you. If you're looking for a nice moisturizer, mm, that um, it, it works really well, but I replaced it with my Belief Cream, so I really just don't use this anymore, and I think I'm actually going to throw this one away because I've had it for a while. So this one is actually going to be tossed out, but this is like a really, really nice cream if you're looking for a good moisturizer for nighttime. Kind of thick, so you might not want to wear it in the daytime. So the next thing I have here, I actually bought it, used it once, and never used it again. So this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. So the reason that I, I thought this was for dry skin. One, it is in a step, like they have a step system for skincare, and it's the third step, so I don't even have the rest of the steps. But this is for combination oily to oily skin. So I have, obviously, if you're not new to my channel or if you are new, I have super freaking dry skin, so this is not gonna work for me. And I didn't know it until the day I used it and then read that it was <laughs> for combination oil <laughs> to oily skin. I can't believe I didn't read that before I bought this. And this was kind of expensive. All right, so this one is I think another one I got in like a boxy charm or some kind of subscription something or other, but this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Replen Replenishing Moisture CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In. I think this is hair care because it says leave-in. Apply evenly to clean towel <laughs> This is... <laughs> This is for your hair. Why does it say anti-aging? Your hair, I mean, yeah, I guess your hair ages, but it doesn't get fine line and wrinkles. I don't know. Either way, I don't need a CC cream for my hair. I don't pass. Moving on. All right, so some hair care products since we did that, we're gonna go into. This one is, a, it's a 10 Miracle Blow Dry Voluminizer. Um, it's nice, I like it. Uh, it does give my daughter some really good volume, but honestly, I have volume because I have pretty thick curly hair, so it, I never used it, like I never went to it. But it's like, oh God. <laughs> it like shoots out like really gross. My husband's is gonna kill me because I'm sitting on the bed. I've gotten glitter on the bed and I've gotten hair care on the bed. <laughs> me, it's stuck. All right, and then the next thing I got was E Salon Get Lifted Root Lift Spray. Funny story is three years ago I started my YouTube channel and you guys can't see those videos because I've hid them because um, they are so cringeworthy. If you want me to like react to my first ever video, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will. But warn you they were terrible but I did have this company eSalon reach out to me and they sent me like an entire box of all this amazing hair care stuff and I've been using it for a long time like years I just never use this one this is the get lifted it's a root spray again it's the same thing as this it just gives you volume and again not really something that I need so this is the it's a 10 miracle dry oil spray plus keratin with argon oil tbh not sure what this is for i bought it and never used it i have a lot of hair care stuff that i literally just buy because it sounds like it's going to be a good idea and then i wind up having a salon full of hair care stuff that is not required into my hair 
and this one is actually super freaking old. This is the L'Oreal New Sleek It Strand Smoother Serum Spray. Um, it actually wasn't terrible. It's still pretty full. I, a couple years ago, went really crazy on couponing and I winded up like <laughs> getting like really addicted to couponing. I know that sounds crazy, but I had, I'm telling you, I had like a freaking store in my basement in my old house. Like my husband had to put shelves up because there was so much stuff. I had like, like hundreds of bottles of shampoo and like L'Oreal hair care and Tresemme hair care. It was so crazy. I stopped doing it because honestly, I felt that I could budget and save money other ways because I felt like, I, yeah, I was couponing and I was saving, but I was buying stuff that really wasn't necessary. Um, I, I didn't even like the toothpaste. Like I would have 50 things of toothpaste, but I only use a specific kind of toothpaste. So it was like, you're not really saving if you're buying a bunch of crap that you're not gonna use. So this is just pretty old and I don't use it anymore. Um, for that sleek straight now, I use the Color Wow spray. Um, it's actually one of my favorite items to put in my hair and I'm just passing on this. Not that I have anything wrong with cheap hair care. I just don't prefer it. So I have two more things. So this is also from the e-salon stuff that I got sent to me. This is the Define and Lovely Defining Hair Cream. I'm actually going to throw this one away. Um, I don't, there was nothing wrong with it. It's just very old. Um, there's not very much left in here, but it was just very old. So I kind of was like, mm, I don't know if hair stuff expires. If you know that, let me know down below. But um, I just, I used most of it, so it was really nice because it reminded me of the Paul Mitchell, like the squirt out cream um, defining for your curls, but it didn't leave like chunky pieces like the Paul Mitchell one does. So this one is the Brio Briogeo, Briogeo, you know, I'm the queen of not knowing how to pronounce things, but we're going with it. Don't despair, repair, strength and moisture, leave in mask. So I got this from um boxy charm as well and i just i never used it so i'm gonna give it away to someone who can use it so i lied there's a lot more makeup in here we're getting down to the nitty gritty though hey so the next one is the strivectin anti-wrinkle line blur perfector blur factor instant wrinkling wrinkle blurring primer blah, 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 blah. so i did get this sent to me for free from influencer and I used a little bit of it, but it was just way too thick and silicone for me and my liking. Bye-bye. <laughs> if you guys have seen my products I hate video, um, I'll link it above. This is definitely one of them. This is the Smashbox and Vlada Petal Metal Shimmer Spray. This is just trash. Like, it literally, it comes out so gross. Let me do this so I don't, like, get it all over. You hear how, like, thick and gross it is? So it doesn't spray like misty wise and it's literally just liquid glitter. So when I sprayed it over my makeup, thinking that, oh, it's like a shimmery, like pretty thing. No, no. I had splashes of just glitter on my face. So moving on. If anyone wants that for like under their skin, it's gonna find itself a new home. So the Ferris Salat for <laughs> The Forsali um, Jelly Beam Highlighter. Ew. I think, first of all, it's leaking the oil out, so I may have to throw it away. Um, it's nice. It's just kind of gross. I actually have barely used any of it. You don't really get a lot in here for as expensive as this is, but it's been like leaning. Um, I just, it's very pretty. I will say that it's kind of weird. Like, it's like putty, it's so freaking weird. But when you try to put it over your makeup, it's just not what it looks like on your regular skin. So maybe I'll keep it and put it on my regular skin, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just not a big fan. <laughs> so when you rub it in, like it looks really nice, you could put your makeup over that. But when you try to use a beauty blender or something to put it on over your makeup, it pulls up like a whole lot of your concealer and all that stuff, so gonna go in the bye byes pile actually this whole thing is a bye byes pile so all right so the next one is the Too Faced Love Light 
you light up my life. So this is actually one of three that I had. The other two I've already given away. This is just like a super extreme gold highlighter. Um, I really liked it for like eyeshadow for a while. But it's way too dark for me. Um, I'll probably give it to my daughters because they really love, they love all these cute little things. And I love that they love things. So the next two are going to be like foundation things. I have glitter all, how is it that every single video I do, I wind, it up, I wind up with like glitter painted hands. So the next one is gonna be, <laughs> is the tarp, ugh, this always gets me, tongue tied tart shape tape hydrating foundation I'm not gonna lie to you I felt like it wasn't that hydrating and it really stuck to like all of my dry patches oh it's old so this one's gonna get thrown away instead of given away but it just I didn't like how the applicator was this is medium tan honey and it just it wasn't it was bad I didn't really like it at all so I thought I had the Too Faced Born this way foundation in here but I guess I already threw it away um that's another one I don't have it to show you but I'm sure you guys have heard of it I'm just not a fan it's you know a lot of people rave about it but it's stuck to every dry patch every texture it was thick and just ugh. so I got rid of that one too so this one is the custom cover drops from cover fx and I got this from tj maxx thinking that I would use it and I didn't. So basically you drop these into another foundation and you can kind of like lighten or darken up your foundation depending on if you need it lighter or darker. I, I think they were like, they were pretty expensive but I don't really use it so moving along. Um, two more things, they're highlighter related. This one is the Glitter Drops from Cover FX. I thought these were the shimmer like liquid highlighter ones, it is not. I got it in my boxy charm. It's just glitter. It's liquid glitter. You're supposed to like mix this in with your foundation, I guess. I don't really know. You guys can let me know below. I'll keep this one just to see if I can figure out shake well before use. I'll try to figure out if I can use it or not like in foundation or something and try from there, but I think I am just gonna give it away. Yeah, I'm gonna give it away. I'm not gonna hold it. Um, I really don't need it. See, that's my problem is like, I'm like, well, I'll just hold it and see if I can. No, I'm just gonna give it away. Um, too much glitter for me. And the next thing is the Tardiest Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. I actually got this in a BoxyCharm, but funny enough, I also bought these before. So when I got it, I was like immediately like, nope, gonna go. Um, I just don't like the consistency of it. I don't like how thick it is. Um, and it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see that. It is really nice, but it's just really thick and kind of hard to work with. And again, one of those things that kind of patch up your foundation. So the next couple of things are actually lip products. So this is the JD Glow Cosmetics. Um, the reason I'm getting rid of this is because the applicator, I did a whole video on smaller brands and indie brands. The lip gloss itself is so beautiful, but the whole applicator is just jacked up. Like it's like bends when you try to put it in. I think they need to use a smaller applicator. So, eh. the next one I am getting rid of are my Wet n Wild Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have some in metallic. This looks like, yeah, metallic, matte, matte, metallic. I think they're all metallic and matte. Um, they're not bad. They're 4 dollars They're decently priced. They wear okay. I just, I don't go to these and I feel like they could find a home or be loved somewhere else instead of just sitting and never being touched. I just don't use them anymore. And then the next thing, I also think I did a video on these. They wanted up being lip glosses and they were minis. Yep, these are minis. So the only reason I'm getting rid of these is because they're minis and I don't like miniature things in my makeup collection. If you are not new to this channel, you know how I feel about mini makeup. So I will be giving these to my daughters because I think they're perfect for their little bags, their little purses and all of that fun jazz. But for me, <laughs> but for me, they just don't work out. They're too little. I hate how they look next to the rest of my lipsticks. All right, and the last two things. 
So the one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I believe this is a lip gloss, yes. So I've had this for a while, and I just, they're very pigmented lip glosses, okay? Like very pigmented. This is the gloss. Like look how pigmented that is, how dark that is. But it's just too thick for me. I can't do super thick glosses. So I just, I don't like that as a formula. So I'm gonna give that to somebody else. And the last but not least is the, actually it probably is the least, the go-to beauty lip gloss. Um, honestly, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's a cheap lip gloss mimicking actually the ABH one, which is funny because they are very similar in formula. It's very pigmented, but it's also very thick and cakey and just, I don't like that feeling again on my lips. So that one is going to go. All right, guys, so that is it for my declutter, things I'm throwing away, shit I don't need anymore. So I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel about this setting. Hopefully this setting is really great for all of you. Kind of laid back, super fun. I really love just hanging out with you guys and having so much fun talking beauty and makeup and all of that good stuff, guys. As always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you on the next one.